Hello. <clears throat> Helps if I don't choke on my own spit, right? Oh, right. I actually have to open up Homestuck. That's a thing. Hey, you know what else is a thing? Boom! Segway! Variety is hope. Vine Sauce is hope is tomorrow. And I will be streaming. And you can see me stream video games. Specifically pool ball. Almost exclusively. Um for three hours. Starting at four. Central Standard Time. I normally stream at five. Uh, for those of you that don't keep up with those those things. If you're watching this on After Hours, you are late. You missed it. It was good, I assume. We had a lot of fun. Hootie cried at the end. Uh, I actually don't know these things because it hasn't happened yet, but I'm guessing. Uh, Rattler, thank you for the uh, 26 months of support. It's a very long time. Oh god, right, we're here. I just saw it load up and it's like, look at all these things. Uh, Homestuck, you wanna work? Do you need to rip ass? <laughs> there you go. Is that it? Does that help? Spatulup, thank you for the, uh, the, the, the six months of support. Sad face because, um, this, this comic doesn't end. Like, People are like, ah, oh, it's the home stretch, and they've been saying that for the past like 20 episodes. <laughs> when does this thing end? Never? Okay. Well, let's read some then. That's a calculator, that's not the music. Music, stop. Stop. All right. So anyway, uh, we read this bit. Now we just got to click all of these things. I'm going to click them like left or right. Um, just to read them. That makes sense to me. I mean, I guess I could click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But yeah, maybe it'll just be like tiny pages with very little. This is the last big dialogue section, but it's a very, very long dialogue session. Okay. So we're going to get like two pages of progress today. <laughs> Uh, the brand release for 2021, um, Witcher 3, GTA 5, and The Elder Scrolls 5. Happy Skyrim 10-year anniversary because they can still keep milking that game because keep, people keep buying a game that they still haven't fixed. It has so many glitches. They've still not fixed. And there's still people buying it again and again and again every year uh every collector's edition with the same issues but they added fishing holy shit i gotta get on it um thank you for the uh 20 months of support bobulus anyway so um you're telling me this ridiculous meteor journey uh the day for the bad timeline told me about some funny stories when we all got together on the grassy hill planet. We weren't much actually hanging out for that long, so I didn't hear much. Also, I'm mostly sure that Vriska wasn't alive during our trip. Oh, well, let me tell you. Vriska was most certainly alive during this one. Like, extra most alive, if that's possible. Is there already a mod to do fishing in Skyrim? I wouldn't be surprised. I think I know what you mean. I spent some time with her when she was a ghost, and let's say whatever her morality status is, she makes her presence hard to ignore. Yes! Yes! I love this! Can we spend our whole time reminiscing about destroying Briska slightly above audible levels? Slightly? Carcat, you only have one volume setting. Wow! Fuck you! Okay, dude, maybe let's not spend our pal time trash talking secret. S secret. Yeah? Secret. Like secret, but pronounced weird. Circuit. Yeah, that ain't happening. It's secret. I don't give a shit. Um, where is it? Why would it be Viscous Circuit? 
Does that make sense? Also, uh, someone pointed out that Vriska's uh, typing quirk, and I hated this, by the way. Um, whoever commented this on the last uh, Homestuck thing made me realize something really um, notable about Homestuck, and I fucking hate it. Uh, Vriska's typing quirk is literally 413. Yeah. Trezzy's, excuse me. Thank God it's someone else. Sorry, Trezzy, not Vriska. Vriska's is eight, right? Trezzy's is four, one, three. Oh, whatever. Anyway, okay. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about any of the time. How's that different? Also, OnlyFans. Now you can't do porn on it. Not someone who uses OnlyFans. That's not my cup of tea. But uh. Sort of like a baseball stadium where you can't play baseball. The fuck is the point? Uh, Mormon, Moron Moon Mage. Thank you for the two years of support. That's very cool of you. Two years is a very long time. When I ask someone, like, when someone goes, hey, what's your OnlyFans? They're not going, hey, I want to support you because of the art you do. They want to fucking see titties. And there's no fucking shame in that. People have titties and want to show them. Other people have money and want to see titties. This is, this is like, as soon as, like, we, like, as soon as monkeys were given currency and things... They figured out that. People fucking love it. Why not? They would they claim nudes wouldn't be banned, just explicit material. That means dick and ass. Fucking. You can have your titties out, you just can't fuck. Supposedly only extreme material. Dude, if someone wants to get a dick in them and they want to get paid for it, fuck it. As long as people are willing to pay for that and they're not like scamming anyone, what's the fucking problem? Hey. It doesn't even have to be artistic titties. This is people want to see tits? You want to see people have sex? Fuck it. Literally, fuck them. Those people who wanted to have sex for money, you could... You could fuck them for money. I'm not saying fuck them as in they don't deserve things. I'm saying they... The opposite of that. It's what they... It's what they do as a job. Fuck them. Fucking... Anyway, uh, let's try and do some PPM today. I, f I feel bad for anyone doing OnlyFans because that's, that's bullshit. Um, that is legitimately bullshit. It'd be like if Twitch just suddenly decided that I couldn't do what I do, you know, let's anyway, um, Dude, maybe that's less... Okay, fuck, you're right. Yeah, I'll chill out. You're right, Dave, as usual. Wow, Carcat, for a funny short guy, you backed down on that real fast. Almost a bit disappointed? I was looking forward to more of your patented ravings. Hey, John Fuckbert, I'll have you know I'm a little bit more mature and reasonable than the last time you saw me. I'm a lot more than a holier sponge one note. Holler sponge note. And anyone who could dispute this can cordially invite me to play their dirty seed flap like a discount harmonica sounds what does that mean oh well i'm sold seriously though 
It's pretty cool to finally meet you under normal, under more civil, rational circumstances. Unlike whatever the fuck that brief encounter was three years ago where you KO'd Vriska and then poofed your flimsy ass into fuck all continuum. Because I really seemed mad about that at the time for whatever reason. I know I really seemed mad about that at the time. But really, I've had so many boring hours on that meteor. Just been barely reflecting on roughly 10,000 ways I don't give the slightest fuck about whatever idiotic twists of fate transpired back there okay i'm completely over it i'm over a lot of things actually yeah you are yeah like remember back when i was yelling at you all the time from my computer back when i probably would have felt nervous or awkward about this encounter because of you know well you know no i was hitting on you briefly in a very confusing non-chronological way without even being without quite realizing how badly i was sho shoving my strud pot down my own statement tunnel what the fuck? Shove pod. Your foot down your own throat? Uh, Carcat, no one knew that you were flirting because your flirting style is exactly the same as your, like... Dude. I mean, until you mercifully shut me down and a fair amount of tax shut me down. Don't you remember? Maybe? How can you not remember that? I don't know. It was a long, long time ago. We had a lot of ridiculous conversations. Well, maybe it was a bigger deal for me than it was for you. I mean, obviously it was. It was sort of the whole point. But really, the point is that I was trying to make is that it isn't a big deal anymore because I'm over it. Carcat, what the fuck are you doing? What? I'm I'm talking quite casually about some shit that's not a big deal. And the point is that I'm not. it's not a big deal anymore. So I'm just casually saying that. God. Okay. It's not a reasonable conversation to have, but like... We just started friend jamming about past anecdotes to get us all up to speed or whatever. And you already are trucking out these guns. Guns? What guns? Just saying. It doesn't sound like casual. No big deal. If you keep saying casual, a no big deal. Also, it's the first fucking thing out of your mouth to John in three years. Sorry. Truly fucking sorry. I forgot there was such an outstanding smooth pile of shit in my cape without a judgment radius. Within my judgment radius. No, I, I think I remember uh, you were uh, black flirting with me and whatever, or something, but in backwards order while constantly yelling. I didn't really know what it was. And I, then I told you I wasn't a homosexual, so it was kind of a moot point, but also you didn't know what that was either? Yes, that's basically what happened, and exactly I was trying to say was it's over and wasn't a big deal anymore, but now it's a big deal again, I guess. That's fucking great. Thanks, Dave. What the fuck is black flirting? Okay, so like... The... Trolls don't... Trolls have multiple different... Relationship... Types. It's not just like dating. Like human dating. They've got other ones. And, and that one is the one where you just would go out of your way to make sure their life was miserable. But... In a sexy way? It's the Ash and Gary thing. Yeah. Is it... Romantic rivalry? Wait, are Ash and... All this is gibberish to me. No, no. After 7,487 pages, I'll tell you. It just is. It just is. Um, there's... There's definitely words in here that connect to sentences. There's a plot, but it's sort of... You know... I don't know. The plot of Homestuck makes about as much sense as OnlyFan banning uh, pornographic content on their platform. You would assume it's the point of the whole fucking thing, but I guess not. I guess it's not. Anyway, it's fucking great. Yo. I'm hardly willing to talk here since I'm a goddamn geyser of hilariously self-pulverizing Freudian bloopers. At this point, I can't even pretend to keep a lid on any shit I've got in me. I know sooner or later, during one of my rad soliloquies, I'll prat fall butt backwards into an embarrassing admission. And I just have to be like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's my shit. That's what I'm about. Uh, let's get the fuck on with our lives. So when John's like, hey man, you've locked an... You're locked and loaded with some shut about how you're over him and go on and on about it in some way. This obvious protest. 
too much shit. Everybody knows it. I don't see how it salvages any of your dignity or whatever you, whatever to pretend that it's not happening. I wonder if in a better society, kisses would be normalized. I don't know what that sentence means. Like, am I supposed to, like, have someone that I want to hate fuck? Is that what you want? Because, like, God... You can hate fuck IRL, sure, yeah, but like, you know. No, I have people that I hate. There are certain people that like, if they died, or if like, bad things happened to them, I'd celebrate, you know? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably, well, okay, a few people, I would, but I'm not going to say that. Anyway. But my point is that there's some people that, like, if they just, like, if something bad happened to them, I wouldn't feel bad about it. I know that's not, like, the morally, like, appropriate thing. I'm just saying if, if, you know, just, you know, if something bad happened... I would maybe, would maybe celebrate if something bad happened. Yeah. Not in Minecraft. I'm just saying, like, if something happened to someone, hypothetically, that I dislike, I would feel good about that. I don't claim to be a saint. I never did. I'm kind of an asshole, actually. So there's that. I'm not saying I'd fuck any of those people. Kismas isn't, if they died, I'd celebrate. Good Kismas is like Goku and Vegeta, where Vegeta clearly hates Goku, but Goku died, he'd punch a wall and cry in manly tears and rage. Okay, yeah, I don't have that with people. Um, no, I'd be, I'd be pretty fucking happy if certain people died. Not saying who, because I think that would make me liable for anything. Like, the government would come by and be like, hey, um... You remember how you were like, that would be cool if so-and-so died? You know. We're not talking... Where were you on, on Tuesday? Anyway. Uh, oh my fucking god. So what I'm saying is, if you're so eager to push this out there... I'm not pushing this out there. What you're pushing out there is that... Uh, uh, which you are, then maybe we should rap around about it. I mean, discuss it critically and earnestly, not drop rhymes or anything, though that could be sweet too. Are you sure you still don't have these unreconciled black rom feelings about John? I say we air this out before it ferments into some rank hella unexamined feeling sauce. Dave, I think you're making Carcat uncomfortable. Are you being a wise guy and trying to make us uncomfortable? No. I just, I don't do that to bros. That's huge uncool. I don't see what has to be so uncomfy about chatting our true ass thoughts and emotions. Yeah! Dude, you clearly have spades thing for John, but I don't recall you ever bringing it up. Is this something you've been thinking about all this time or no? No, not really. Yeah, we kind of talked about this. I have all kinds of shit to say about John seeing as he is my number one dude for approximately 13 years. The main dead end here is man. Uh, the main dead end here man is like nothing personal at all it's just he's literally incapable of hating anyone 
I know that. That is exactly the fucking thing I knew and understood and why I felt so stupid about it in hindsight. Well, not that I really want to egg this train of thought, but I don't know if that's quite true. It's not? I can get really angry and hate stuff too, just like you, but uh, only in extreme cases. The skull sky, skull guy and suspenders really pissed me. Uh, I got really pissed off at. I'm 100% sure that hate was platonic. Getting pissed off at sp suspenders, dude, sounds like the sort of yarn I will be all ears for sometime, but okay. Something to work with. Hey, car cat, maybe there's some hope yet. It's not a total lost cause. Nerg! Okay, Dave, it definitely sounds like you're trying to own us now. No own? What? No way. I'm being a real as a motherfucker. Being able to hate something is a smaller part of the equation. What about the other part? What do you think? It's uh, a little bit more significant. What part? The part about not being homosexual. John, dude, I gotta say, when you talk about not being a homosexual, you kind of sound like a corny old man. What? Why? It's the normal way of putting it. I mean, pretty normal thing to say, right? When that's how you are. Somebody fucking kill me! What does normal mean, though? Normal is some crap that ruled our dead civilization. We left that behind us years ago. It's all a huge pile of shit and doesn't matter anymore. Okay. So then you're saying, what are you saying? I'm not sure, I guess. Okay, I guess what I'm saying is I don't think it's all as simple as you think it is, or maybe not like actively think it is, but continue to assume on account of not thinking about it much. Due to a lot of junk about the subject that gets shoved into our brains from movies and stuff when we were dumb kids, I am... Um, I'm just saying it probably isn't absolutely as... or isn't as absolute or simplistic as the way you've been framing it. Or maybe it is for you personally. I don't know. I'm just guessing you haven't spent much time thinking about it because of all the stuff that we've read and watched suggests that, like, even examining your own honest thoughts about a perilous to go... is thoughts about it is a perilous road to go down. Because if you actually think about it too much without always having to under... You're gay. Dave, you're gay. Always you know, having the undercurrent of, haha, nope, 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 then what happens? What if it turns out like, like, like not exactly the way you thought you were? Or maybe not so much as old presumptions about what about you were turned out to be was not relevant. Why, why are these words happening in our conversation? I mean, people are like, I'm. Dave, Dave is doing a very bad job about maybe coming out. As as by, I mean, I think he's into John. I think that's pretty well established, right? I don't know how much of that, like, I word salad butchered because of dyslexia or how much of this actually doesn't actually work. Congratulations, Rev. You're no longer Davekin. Well, I'm not bi. So, there's that. I don't know, man. I'm not sure what you've been doing for the last three years, all riding a boat and then saving everyone for the apocalypse from apocalyptic whatever, but I've been fuck ton of time on my hand to think about stuff and I've stuff I've said and then done in the past and why I said and did them and a lot of things that I would have insisted were a large part, like a part of my brand and helped me come across as cool and smart assy. But now I'm not so sure. We used to rip on each other all the time for being gay, even though we knew we weren't, which was, of course, is what it made it funny. Remember? The fandom waited six years for this reveal. Yeah, I mean, now he's being a little bit more explicit. He's like, we used to always pretend 
that the other person was gay. And it was funny because we're not. Right? Remember when that was funny? And now it's not. It's not funny anymore. Not because you can't call people gay, but. You know. Yeah, I don't know. It was pretty funny sometimes. It was just a lot of joking around. John. I know. It's frankly funny to say how gay something is sometimes. And let's just face it. Sometimes someone or something is flat out really fucking gay. And there's no two ways about it. And it's more like that through the preponderance of that jokey shit, there's a lot underlying under implication that all it's all lame stuff for pansies, but not like us. No, we're not lame. Ha ha. That's the joke, which thrives on the double buried implication that all real cool shit is founded on absurd wanky ideals of masculinity, which you have to think about is one dumb as fuck Two male adulteration of masculinity to extent of, to be honest is pretty fucking gay unto itself. And three was always some totally impossible shit for us to live up to. Anyway, I think I mix up all that phony ideals about heroism, like living up to the storybook idea of what a hero to me feels almost interchangeable as living up society snapshot of a hard manly dude should be. I stopped pretending I could ever live up to either thing a while ago and mainly spent a time looking back on the sheer magnitude of all my joking around. I used to lambast fuckers left and right, grinding them into the payment of how gay they were probably were and how much they were quite possibly jonesing to kiss some dude and such. I don't really feel bad about it in the sense that it was jerky or some insensitive necessary, uh, even though it was, I guess it, maybe it was. I mean, this is sort of a, okay. So this is sort of a conversation that me and my friends had because I think if you were a kid from like the nineties, two thousands, like you just call each other gay. And it was sort of like, with the implicit, like, gay is bad. Because, like, we literally did not have the emotional breath to, um... Have emotional conversations with each other. Like, we went through some real bullshit, me and my friends, as kids. Like, people died. And it's like, if you showed emotion, it was kind of gay, dude. And so it's like, you know... We were not emotionally rounded teenagers. But now that we're older, you know. It's, um, I don't know. It's different now. It's different now. And, and we can have, I mean, I sat down with my, one of my friends, uh, and I was just like, dude, like they pointed out, they were like, we're fucking weird as kids. Like they basically pointed out what I was just telling you. And it's just like, I don't know. We kind of apologized for not being there for each other because we were too like, uh, emotionally stunted, <laughs> you know? And I felt like I had a decent range of emotion, even still. So, um, like more so than the average teenager. And even still, we were kind of, I don't know. I don't know. My, my point is that younger you is always going to be a bit cringe, I guess. And you hopefully grow into a better person. What's Homestuck? 8,000 pages of shit I have to read. It's not bad, actually. It's just long. Welcome to the stream. We're almost at the end, theoretically. This guy's talking about how it's fucked up to call people gay as an insult. And honestly, a lot of stuff that Dave is saying here, where it's like, it's in the media, and so that's why you can't call yourself gay, because, like, you know, you can't be a manly man and be gay. Despite the fact that, like, you know, thinking about dudes all the time is kind of gay, you know?
normalize calling things gay as a compliment. I mean, like, I'm using it in the, the way that they're using it here for the sake of just, we need to talk about it. But it's interesting. Um, but yeah. We haven't gotten to the big S yet. Probably not. It's more likely, I feel like it's probably transparent. A massive front. An outright snark to disguise a lot of insecurity. Like a fucking cover-up. So as long as I kept clowning about it hard, I didn't actually have to think about my it or face my actual beliefs. Dave, um, that's all cool and all, but I mostly agree, but how do I put this? Are, are you gay now? What? No! The words! Why won't the words stop, dear God? I don't know. It sounds like to me that you're trying to be telling me something here. Man, no, look, Dave, <laughs> dude, I mean, it's okay if you're gay now. It's totally cool if true. I just think that if you turning gay would be kind of weird, consequences of me changing the time around around. Okay, not weird, just unexpected. John, John, <laughs> please stop this. I don't think that Dave's entire... If if we're going to call me Dave, and you guys were fine with calling me Dave up until the point that you found out that he was gay, and that I'm straight, and you're like, oh, you're not Dave Ken anymore. Like, is all that Dave is gay? Am all that I am is straight? Not trying to Not trying to convince you guys that I'm Dave Ken. But just like, I, I think that's a very one-dimensional way of uh, looking at shit. Anyway, John is being very homophobic on, on accident. He just doesn't know better. One of your most defining traits is that I love my wife. So we're, we're both loving people. You know? Are, are you straight now? I've been straight the whole fucking time. Just like Dave's been gay the whole fucking time. Sonumia. Thank you for the 20 months of support. I mean, he's bi, but I mean, you know. You're like, dude, it sounds kind of gay. I think you can call bi people gay. If John's, okay, if you rewrote your parents' DNA and that affected you and being gay is just like a core part of like your DNA, it's just like a core part of you being you and you fucking with the timeline caused something happened to the parents in the same way that like you could, I don't know. No, I don't think you could do it. Is that how that works? That's weird. I think fucking with the parents' genetics in order to give you, for instance, red hair... Does it matter? Not really. No. If if John was, you know, eugenics moment? No. No. I I'm I'm saying like is John and I don't think John's implying that he changed. He shouldn't change. He's saying he turned him gay literally as something that he experienced rather than who he is just as a a, a default. Right?
John is literally that stupid. Let me read a bit more. Uh, you turning gay would be kind of weird or consequence of me changing the time around. around. I think you'd have to change... My point is you'd have to change things around prior to their birth. In order to get the maximum gayness out of the situation. Yeah. John has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. I think it's probably actually what's going on. Okay, not weird, just unexpected. I don't know what it would... Did that would account for that. Maybe saving one of Trezzy's plush toys did some goofy homosexual butterfly effect thing on you? Jeez, who knows? Dude. You aren't listening. Although a gay butterfly effect is a pretty funny idea, let's not dismiss that as a concept altogether. Maybe what I'm trying to say is sort of getting lost in the weeds here. The fact that you were wondering if I turned gay made me think that you're maybe not quite on the same wavelength of what I'm trying to ramble here. Maybe we should try and wrestle with this topic to the ground some other time. There's something I wanted to say. There's a lot more I want to say about, but this is not the time or the venue. I mean, literally not wrestle to the ground because that is maybe the gayest course of action that we could possibly take. But you know what I mean. Yes, later. Talk later. Because the words would stop. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? That's fine. We can talk about something else if you want any time. I'm still a little confused about what you're getting at is all. Like, what's the bottom line here? Are you, are, are you attracted to boys now? Do you, um... Did you, like, date any boys? Uh, but there weren't even that many boys on the meteor. I mean, maybe there's that clown guy, but I don't really see you and him, and that only leaves where you and Carcat are. Are you and Carcat like a? Uh... No, 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 no! I retreat to my safe place, and yet the words, the stupid fucking prattle, jockeying like rowdy barn beast up against the partitions of good fucking sense in my most basic personal boundaries. The goddamn blither of tactus, tactless nincompoops. How it continues to haunt my wretched ears. The words spill over the side of this enchanted metal disc frog like a babbling spring in the mythical forest governed by a guild of gossip-hungry lobotomy hobbits. This deluge of words leaked from the incontent crevices of two brainless gushing yammer twats. It overfloweth. How the overfloweth sogging my gray practical pair of pants. The leggings of a simple man, a humble man. And it then continues its downward trickle dousing my unremarkable shirt. The surface of the gargment <sighs> of your average Alternian Joe, chilling the frail torso beneath a pathetic duffel of meat racked with hard, heavy sobs, sobs caused by words, words that continue to drip and sluice and spill and threaten to drown me and to pledge to promising, yet I will not drown. Why will I not drown? Please let me drown. Let me drown so the words will be no more. Dave, I'm pretty sure we're making Carcat uncomfortable now. Did Carcat just piss his pants? No, he's he's being metaphorical about he's. I think he's saying that their stupid is a liquid that's drowning him. He fucked the goblins. Yeah, maybe we should drop this. Okay. I don't know if I ever picked this up from this guy, but he's a pretty sensitive guy. What? No! It's true. He's pretty much the easiest dude to rip on. It makes for an irresistible target. But you also have to know where to draw the line. You don't actually really want to know what you it's like when you upset him. Yeah, me neither. Um, what the fuck is he doing? Man, I don't know. That's just his regular shit. Like everyday occurrence, but with different bodily positions and geographic configurations. I see. Bro, will you get the fuck up here? No. Okay, suit yourself. Anyway, as much as, uh, as you can see, I've been spending, uh, 
I've never really seen sexual orientation as part of a per people's personality that seems to be more of a stereotype than anything. Yeah, I mean, you know, 90s TV and the gay friend. Like, that was, that was their personality. It's, they were gay, you know? And some modern comics still do it. Yeah, I mean, you know, bad writing is still bad writing. I had a friend who is gay. And, like, he tried to do the gay friend thing? Like, as a real person. And that was his personality trait. Which was unfortunate for everyone. I think that he was still maybe working through some of that shit. You know? Like, he was still trying to figure out exactly how that, like, jived with him. And it was, like, a college thing. So he was like, all right, well, I don't know. This is a this is a thing that I am. I like dudes, so people who like dudes act like this. You know what I mean? I, I think he hadn't really, like, fleshed it out. I would assume that by now he's probably figured it out. It wasn't malicious. He had boyfriends. His boyfriends were... I remember one of them, and he was... I don't know, he was kind of quiet. So I didn't really know him that well. Like, we hung out, but he didn't talk... Uh, much. Yeah, I, I mean, like, you know, it's Texas. I don't know how much of a, a reference point he had for, like... Normal gay people he had, you know, and not fictional, badly written gay people, which was sad. Yeah, I mean, like exp that, that, I don't know, not gay, but I think that would be a pretty big life change. If just one day I was like, holy shit, I'm gay. You know? Like, obviously I'm married, so even more so now. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just... I think that would be a pretty big, like, oh, fuck, how am I going to deal with this? Like, what does this mean for me? I can sympathize with that. Is it sympathy or empathy? I don't know. Whatever. Exactly. Exactly. Just because you are gay doesn't mean you have to act gay. But I think he he overcorrected. You know? Give it a try, it's fun. I mean that's that's the thing, is it's not really a choice. Just I see dudes and I'm like not my cup of tea, my dude. So I'm not going to just be like, ah, I'll dabble in a little bit of gay just for the fun. I've probably said like eight offensive things during this conversation on accident, but um, these are the uh, these are the things that I fuck up. How do John's windy powers let him time travel again? I don't know if it's ever really explained. He just does. It's just his superpower. A free sample of gay. Yeah, it's like when you go to the grocery store and they got little sausages in those little cups thing. And you're like, sir, sir, would you would you like to try some gay? Oh, okay. Well, you know, 
I mean, you know, I just, I just ate, but you know, I okay. Just since it's right here, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try some. Sure, it's, it's. What do you have here today? Oh, uh, being gay. You could try it. Just a little sample. H have some. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, this is quite good. This is quite good, actually. Can I have another? No, no, it's limited one per customer. You have to, you have to actually, you know, you have to actually get it if you, I, I can't give you more sa free samples. Wasn't there an episode of South Park that was the premise? That sounds, I mean, not to say that I'm clever, but that sounds too clever for South Park. The PPM? I don't know, man. I can't imagine, but okay. Uh, anyway, as you can see, I've been probably spending way too much time with these trolls. It messes with you. Gets you thinking about stuff, you know? I can imagine. I think a lot of... Life is a lot more boring on the ship. But we talked about all you a lot. Like how we always wondered how you and Rose were managed to get along with all those crazy trolls. I think we mostly pictured a lot of arguments. It's not far off. I'm getting used to having such an insane limitless power that let me go anywhere I want. It's tempting to go to time periods like yours and find out what I missed. But I don't want to mess with it too much anymore since it seems like I got a timeline to a nice stable place as it is. So I guess I just have to do what any regular guy does and imagine fondly what it would be like if I got to travel with you guys. I, I hope that if I do or say anything ignorant at any point about anything, that you guys will understand that it's not out of a place of malice. And it's out of the, I am an idiot and need to learn better. And, you know, education would be the correct answer. Pro Jared's penis. Yes, indeed. Pro Jared's penis. Uh. Theoretically, maybe the breath aspect is associated with God. That was a long. Uh, he was freed for, and unbound from the canon of the story by being windy like wind. Okay. Well, no worries. Thank you, uh... Twink Master 69. I'm glad I'm accepting. <laughs> um, anyway, it's tempting to not go into time periods like yours and find out what I miss. But I don't want to mess with it too much anymore. I guess uh, I have to imagine what it'd be like. Okay, I already read all that bit. I wonder if I would have gotten like absorbed into troll culture too or troll ways of thinking. You're not as much of an asshole as you think you are. I'm more of an asshole than you guys realize. Um, or you're right. It's uh, it's like an egg ego, id ego and super ego thing. Like I think the 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 part of my brain that's go like Freud was a hack, but like the bit of my brain that's like that's what I'm thinking versus what I'm saying versus what you guys interpret from the bullshit that I say. Uh, somewhere along the line, there's an asshole in there, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty inevitable. You pick up the lingo and they pick up yours as a stupid cultural melange after a while and barely makes any sense from any other frame of reference. I wonder what it would be like to understand black romance. It's just a goofy idea, but it seems pretty important to trolls. They take all their quadrants pretty seriously to BH. Yeah. Years ago, when we finally met the trolls, I remember being pretty fascinated by all our cultural differences. When Carcat and Frisco were telling me about them, I remember really sincerely trying to understand it all from their point of view. It's hard to remember, or hard though. I still think about black romances. Sometimes I'm trying to imagine how it works or feels. I don't know. Do you understand it? Yeah, I've spent enough time talking about it. 
where I think I get it, but I've never really had any cause or any, any real inclination to put it into practice or anything. Mainly the idea of hating somebody, but translating that attraction or some kind of romancy feelings. It feels so alien to me. You're right. I have a really hard time hating anyone in the first place. Word. I mean, I get annoyed by people, sure. Like who? Me? Not really. Well, I mean, sometimes. But not by much. Um, I always tended to exaggerate my grievances with you for the sake of laughs. For example, uh, the better example is more recently when I was doing my retcon mission. I was getting really annoyed with Trizzy and her mind games. I definitely never crossed the line to hate, though. Because we work together and try and fix a dire situation, even though she was weird and insane. She's pretty, uh, she's otherwise a pretty good friend. But all her needling and japes are totally inappropriate at times. There's so much on the line. It's just so frustrating. Egbert, I have news for you. Whoa, he's back. All right. Sides up and everything. I heard you were talking about quadrants and have decided to pause my tantrum. John, you are, what your feelings here are. Uh, is, what you're doing here is describing subtle feelings which plant the seed of having a calingulous crush on someone. What? You heard me. You're naively admitting to struggling with some black feelings for Trizzy. So there you go. Question answered. Turns out you're perfectly capable of black romance. Uh, no. A fair rebuttal. However, consider this counterpoint. Y y yes. <laughs> Carcat. <laughs> I like that. But I don't hate her. I, I, I'm i not sure I ever will. I'm just saying I find her, like, somewhat annoying and really aggravating a lot of the time. But that's it. But that's exactly what the feeling is. It doesn't start as a full-blown apathy. It rarely even reaches such an extreme level of hostility. Even our long-term black relationships. There are peaks of it. But otherwise, general ebb and flow of dark feelings that are just like flesh relationships. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, that, that example does help. I don't know. I mean, I've often described love as being somewhat similar to hate in that you think about someone all the time, you have strong emotions about them, and um, you have, you know, feelings about what you would do to them if given a chance that doesn't really work. <laughs> um, there, there, there are similarities anyway. Uh, but it isn't exactly what the, is Archie Andrews a twink or a himby? Okay. I don't know what a himby is. Is that different than a himbo? Also, who is Archie Andrews? I have no idea. The black relations are, are about as much about sex as red ones are. Archie Archie? Like, from the Archie comics? Is that his last name? I don't... I don't think I could ever get to a point where I could fuck someone... Purely based on how much I fucking hate them. His name is Archie Andrews. In myths and cycle colonials that Homestuck gave kids very bad ideas about human relationships work and started one-siding hate roms. Oh. Hate fucking is hot though? It it sounds like something from a movie or show and not a real thing. I don't think hate fucking's a real thing. I think that's a um I think that's a thing in movies. Maybe I'm saying something about my sex life there. I'm, I've never hate fucked anyone. I don't live that kind of life. Uh, there are peaks to it, but otherwise, just a general ebb and flow of dark. Okay, but I don't know how if I if I'm expressing myself clearly. I felt aggravated by her a lot, but that doesn't fully describe. Like, those were negative feelings, but also, like, but but that's it right there. The but is always part of it. What you're trying to say is you had frustrated frustrated negative emotions towards her, but you don't completely account for your attitude towards her. You've never longed for a nemesis to hate? I have nemesises! 
God, you can't get to 33 years old without hating someone. I just don't want to fuck them. I just want them to suffer. Smash Mouth? I don't... Like, I still listen to Smash Mouth every now and then. Like, are they assholes? Yes. Sorry about your penis, Smash Mouth. You are simply normal. Good for you. Don't insult me like that. Don't call me normal. I know what normal people are like and I hate them. Fucking assholes. What did Smash Mouth do? The, me and Smash Mouth got in a fight. I ratioed them because they were they're being an asshole to this uh, small band. It, this is a whole fucking thing. You got to keep up with the extended rev universe. It's not it's not all just on on YouTube. If you check out the first episode of Friday Night Funking uh, and listen to the little rant I do at the beginning. Did they block me on Twitter? I don't think so. Uh, Smash Mouth. Still following them. They, as of January 5th, they still have the thing pinned that says, we love all our trolls, which they pinned directly after getting in a fight with me. <laughs> they deleted all of it, so you might be able to find it on, uh, like, pictures, like, on, um, the internet somewhere. They called me a troll, yeah. For saying that I thought it was fucked up that they were making fun of someone um, for not having a big fan base when they just started and also um, when um, they were going out and doing concerts during the height of COVID um, and being like, fuck COVID. And then people got COVID because they went to Smash Mouth concerts um, pre-vaccine. Where was I? But yeah, that's part of it. You're always trying to say, but you had frustrated negative emotions towards her. But you don't co completely, uh, they don't complete comprehensively account for your attitude towards her. Meaning there are some things about her that you actually like, but the negative feelings make it hard for you to put the finger on them or even want to acknowledge them. It's actually absolutely standard. And what good would it be having a kissmas who didn't possess qualities they actually admired on some level? Okay, that's actually really important. I already added the impreg to the, the the fucking chart. I already know how these things work. It's already on the chart. We already have Pokemon impreg on the chart. But no, it's Jessie. She's she's a chick, so it's not impreg. It's F preg. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's just pregnancy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meaning there's some things like, uh, 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 that would be boring and you it wouldn't work. There'd be no tension, no push and pull in the turbulent emotion landscape. The subtle positioning to add fuel to the negative feelings, often giving them a reason to ex <coughs> exist at all. I was like a... That was like a seven. That was a solid burp. Not like high quality, but pretty all right. They inflame and aggravating factors, reminding you deep down how much you would like to admire this person if it wasn't all of the... If you're, yeah, people are giving like seven or eight. Yeah. Eight. All right, I'll take it. Thank you, Orthogonal Caster. Um... The subtle positives add fuel to the negative feelings, often giving them reason to exist at all. They inflame the aggravating factors, reminding you deep down how much it 
you would like and admire this person if it weren't for all their infuriating flaws and the incredible sense of frustration that causes along with all the associated hot headed feelings. That's the essence of black romance. The positive qualities you see deep down in Kismas is also served for the basis of red feelings towards that person. Assuming that relationship ever starts to vacillate. It's all pretty straightforward. Really? Uh, no, this is just messed up. Jo I don't know, John. It sounds pretty logical to me. Carcat knows his shit when it comes to quadrants. It can't be true, though. So fucked up. What if you're right, though? No, no. That's the part of this, too. The no, no, no part. That's how it always is part of the feeling. That's how it always goes. The sense of self-incrimination when it's dawning on you that you might have conflicting feelings towards someone who bugs you so much. Oh my god, this whole reaction is like fucking textbooks. It's hilarious, actually. It's fucked up, though. It's supposed to feel fucked up. Man, I just wanted to have nice things catch, catch, catch up. Not get so transparently owned at the Trollomancies. It happens to the best of us sooner or later. This kind of crap uh, is the kind of old hat to me by now. But I get what you're kind of... Get why you're kind of frickling at the implications here. You didn't have to live years with the trolls to kind of normalize this stuff. I want it to feel normalized, though. I'm, I'm not ready to, like, admit that I have some warped spade crush on her based feeling based on some feeling I don't understand that makes no sense to me. Oh, God, what if it's true? I have to try so hard to suppress this feeling to make sure I never think it again. Okay, that sounds like a weenie thing to do, but sure, have fun with that. Fuck, yeah, probably. Just don't tell her. About this, okay, guys? John, you don't have to remind me about one of the most fundamental statutes of the bro code, which practically fucking scriptural are on my planet, dating back hundreds of millennia. Dave and I fucking sleep and breathe the bro code is, and all of its clauses, no matter how fine the print. Feel free to come back and talk about this at any time. Your secrets will always be safe. Dude, that sentiment is all well and good, but when you're pledging a vow of secrecy, maybe you should try and keep it down a little. Damn, yeah, sorry. It's really confusing, though. Assuming you're right, and I am busted on having these feelings, and I'm not saying I, I, I'm, you aren't, but I thought humans weren't supposed to be able to feel stuff like this. Like what? Like perceive and feel romance stuff in the same way that trolls do because we're like aliens to each other. Okay, well, well, humans can feel gay stuff pretty often, I guess. I don't think we could feel spade stuff, though. I like how he's like, being gay is different than being str straight romance and gay romance are totally different. It's a different quadrant. He's like, okay. Look at Carcat's shirt. Did we just, like, not give a shit today? I'll <laughs> see. Uh, there's a news post around this time where Hussey said to get the comic done before next April, the art would be fast and loose. I don't know. I haven't... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe being gay feels different. And, like, relationships are different if you're gay. Like, just... But, you know, I don't know things, okay? Anyway. Uh, well, okay. Humans feel the gay stuff pretty often. I guess it's the paid stuff, though. I don't know. I always thought it was some screwy biological difference. Nah, I disagree. Both humans and trolls are emotionally versatile sentient beings that can feel many hells of different things. Yeah, probably right. They're probably no better than me, at least. It's always a smart fallback position, by the way. Especially in rap. Should school you on rap if you're confused about rap. No, Dave. I think I'm pretty squared away on rap, at least for now. So, uh, this has been a hell of a reminisce so far. Yeah, seriously, though. I wasn't intending 
to fork like this instant instantaneously in the direction like that legitimately sincere dialogue on fucking sexuality and romance did not plan on this dude you gotta believe me i believe you it's been cool though yeah did we cover everything um probably not all right you dated jade for a while so there's that well what i mean dave sprite did oh i mean of course i mean the one from my time obviously not the one from this time who i guess died before that happened right man that just feels seems so sad i guess even when you fix things not everything could be perfect so yeah so uh how'd that go me and um jade or him and and jade casual dave oh okay i guess my sense was it was kind of dramatic overall I'm not really sure it was the best relationship probably because of uh dave sprite uh unique issues hmm there are a lot of memories i'll tell you about them sometimes maybe when jade is awake because i'm sure she'd want to too no too y yeah hey um the girl that came with rose's mom roxy yeah what she's like she's fucking plot dold dolds she's single dave is instantly like nah dude i didn't say i was gay i'm just saying she's single yeah what's she like she's real nice she's uh fun and easy to talk to almost feels like she's always been one of her friends you know yeah um how, how long have you guys have have you and she actually been traveling together it's his mom listen he doesn't know. I, I'm aware. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Freud. Freud would have many words about Homestuck. Freud would write a book in retaliation to Homestuck. Retaliation, I say. That is the verbiage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not too long. I only met like a day ago. I mean, from my perspective, she's been through some uh, really difficult stuff recently. Like we both have actually. I mean, I feel like it was all a bit more personal for her being on an adventure and then suddenly losing her friends and watching Doe Ra Rose die right in front of her. She's kind of viewing Rose as a version of her mom. It was kind of some goofball drifting randomly here and there between realities. So I was pretty much confused by everything. But for her, I could tell it was really devastating. So I'm happy that she... That was weak sauce. That was like a one. That was like baby burp. Freud would be so excited about the fact that people still think that he is um, legitimate now after killing several people by making them overdose on cocaine. Um, Freud was not good at his job. Freud was just out there wilding, saying weird shit and giving people cocaine. Freud killed people with cocaine on accident. That's some wild info to just say and not explain at all. He had a lot of cocaine. He gave it to people as cures for problems. He said true stuff like the scientific community was like, fuck you, you can't accuse rich men. And then he made up the Oedipus complex. I mean, like, I also think that maybe, maybe the Oedipus complex thing, um, with Freud was maybe just him, um, projecting a bit. Like, if you go, I've done no research, but I found all of the people that I've talked to, which is just myself, want to fuck their mom. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah.
Anyway, where was I? Uh, good ball driving. Uh, I'm so happy that she gets to be with Rose again, not to mention all her friends. For some reason, I feel a lot happier for her getting to reunite with all the people she lost than I do for myself. Sounds like you like her. I do. He says, oh, I mean, like, actually like her. Oh, um, I don't know. Wow, dude. After one day, you should probably slow your roll. I didn't say I did, though. I'm joking. It's fine. Who cares? Okay. She's my mom, isn't she? Man, I'm not sure we should keep thinking about our relationships in that way. Why? It's kind of weird. It is. Is it? Do you feel weird about dating my mom? Is it? Is that it? I'm not dating her, though. But if you did, then you wouldn't think of her like that because of familiar weird times that it invokes. Jeez, I don't know. I don't know if I can re I'm really ready for a single deep conversation we can... Uh, every single deep conversation we could squeeze onto this rapid fire session of fun pal talk. Okay. But like, I'm thinking of her as my mom, even if it's still a little weird. You do? Why? I'm not sure. I never even stopped to think about it before. The idea that what it would be like to have a mom instead of a hyper aggressive, a hyper -aggressive lunatic of an adult male or guardian. I never let myself give it a second of consideration, but now seeing her actually here even though she's still just some teenage girl i never met i like the idea it's nice okay that's actually kind of cute yeah yeah i guess it kind of fucking is all right well no matter what happens it's okay with me if you want to think of her that way sweet wow that was a lot to fucking unpack in an hour and uh each of these is gonna be a fucking hour great I assume that's as long as I don't go off on rambles about, you know, being gay and Freud and OnlyFans. We've been, we've been in a lot of places today. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Stammering and being all a grog grinning idiot. I just can't. I can't believe you are here, real and alive and not dying and so am I. Here with you, I mean... By Azura, by Azura, by Azura! It's you, the grand champion, standing here next to me. Uh, but here with you, I mean, all sharing those mentions and attributes. Rev, what the fuck was that? Okay, you guys didn't play Oblivion? Do you mean Skyrim? I no, I mean I mean Oblivion, where there's the arena uh fan who follows you around and is everyone's fucking least liked person. And he's just like this this guy. You can kill him, but he comes back infinitely. Would you want an IRL adoring fan like that IRL? No, no, God, no. Please don't be like that. Please have things that you enjoy in your life that aren't me. Like, the, the algorithm says, No, they must enjoy just you and only you. They must enjoy only all of your content. That fucking shit ain't ha healthy. The adoring fan, not a healthy individual. Weird guy. Imagine having that hairdo. Yeah, that that's orthogonal caster. Yeah, there it is. Someone can actually. I could probably play that. Actually, if it has the okay, well. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura, it's the grand champion. I can't believe it's you standing here next to me. See, that was pretty good. It's been fucking years since I I played that game. That was pretty spot on. That's like the line he says just when you walk up to him. Um. Anyway, I can't believe it either. There's so much to say, I think. I, even though I can't think of all the stuff at the moment. I know what you mean. 
I hope it's okay if I just sit near you and not being specially articulate for a bit. It's more than okay as long as you're willing to similarly excuse the spectacular demise of my capacity for artful self-expression. Oh my god, you're dirt. Wow, I just caught that. I just caught it. You sound so much like him. Oh my god, that's so too perf and cute. Dirk? Yeah, I can't get over it. I can't unhear it. Even your voice kind of sounds like his, but like girl Dirk. Lamau, wow, yes. He sounds like a hell of a guy. Oh, you have no idea. I should... I told you he should be arriving here in a little while. If he's anything like Dave's late older brother, that's literally him. Right? <laughs> If he's anything like the Dave's late older brother, if he's anything like me, which apparently he is, then I, this is when I'm gonna guess uh, when I'm guessing the real party will begin. I'll be ready. I'm ready. I just want you to know uh, things about him, such as that he shares his elder counterpart's adverse for soft puppet ass, and if that and. If that, combined with a myriad vaguely unsettling psychological peculiarities, could occupy a dedicated team of therapists for years. The answer is yes and yes. Hmm. Knowing this amuses me for some reason, but mainly there are things that I want to know about you. I presume that there are plenty of time later to hound my biological father for the dirt on his proclivities. What do you want to know about me? Everything. The main difficulty in deciding what to ask is sifting for questions that... Uh, I would have for my mother, that is to say, for the woman who raised me from the questions I have for you. Well, I didn't raise you or anything, but I can sincerely take a crack at those kinds of questions. Okay, D do you really like wizards? Rose? Yes, Rose. Ruse. I fucking love wizards. I see. As odd as it sounds, that actually does go pretty far into letting me know something about both of you. Oh? My relationship with her is complicated. I've come to see that that was mostly my fault. It was, don't worry, you were a teenager. I was too young to understand her. I never even got a chance to misunderstand my mom. Or grown up you. Or, I mean, I didn't get to misunderstand her in person. More like as a legendary figure. Because I grew up 400 years after she died. More like a legendary figure. Because I, I grew up 400... Okay. Ah, oh, right. I think I'm gonna have to call the contest early. Yours is the more interesting biography by quite a lot. Not really. Not to me, at least. I was lonely. I thought about her to a lot to pass the time. She was P amazing, at least according to the history. She wrote a hell of a lot of books about wizards and rode a genocidal fat man down a waterfall of blood. She wrote a hell of books about wizards? Yeah. They were famous and good and everything. Sounds like you fumbled into the wrong, long, wrong li line of work. There's no money in the suburb business. Well, there is, but it comes in stupid denominations, which are not particularly useful. Do you have any copies of these books? There are 23 programs that are slowing my computer, and you're one of them, Abbas. Suck my cock. Well, there is. It just comes in incredibly stupid denominations that are not particularly useful. Do you have any copies of these books? Yeah, yes, I do have copies back on my planet, assuming John didn't retcon them away like some book thief and sneak. I would really love to le read them sometimes, if you don't mind. No, not at all. By the way, this is Kainea. Sorry for the combination of bad manners and general dumbfoundedness, which precluded more timely introduction. Hello. Hey, that's a pretty nice name. Also, you're pretty. Thank you. I admire the aesthetics of your name and your appearance as well, and no so par small part to their uh, respective similarity to your daughters. Wow, man, that was somehow the most convoluted thing uh, to say, yet smooth as hell. Impressed. Welcome to Miram City. Population, a whole lot of remarks like that. But yeah, I'll get the, you those books. They're great if you want to try one. Uh, they're great. and made me want to try and write my own wizard books. Did you? Sort of. Could I read them? Uh, you got to read mine. Yeah, but there you were like an old pro and you wrote when you wrote yours. There were 
freaking masterpiece wizard fix. It won they won Pulsars and shit. They did? Really? I don't know. Probably. Oh. They are probably very, very good. So the ancient prize scholars, I'm sure, were like, dude, these wizards are very, very good. Give them all the awards and shut down the awards. Because... But not because of the looming apocalypse. Just because you literally cannot do better than these wizards. I can live with that. I've always been uh, the one of my professional goals to write tales about magic men so provocative that they would cause permanent un and unceremonious dissolution of at least one prestigious award. So yeah, I don't know. I guess you can see. But it's also a pale ghost of a story compared to the stuff that... And it's kind of weird. Like, I like weird. Yeah, just think that your opinion means a lot to me, and I'm nervous you might think it sucks. And even you never even wrote the masterpieces you read. I never even wrote the masterpieces you read. I think you have a view of my abilities which I have not earned. Really, I'm not that good. I have my own story drafts which you can read if you like. They're really nothing special, frankly. Oh, really? Oh, man, that sounds fun. So, okay, just, um, just uh, to remind me. One time, John was fucking around in the lab, and suddenly, baby versions of their parents appeared, which were just them combined in different ways, right? So everyone is inverted. Okay, John was in the lab. Guardians are copies of themselves. Okay, so who did he make in the lab that one time? They cloned their parents. Dirk and Roxy is Dave, yeah. But where did... Where did they come from? Did they just have regular babies? The ancestors are paradox clones, which means their clones are... <sighs> actual actually the original versions so okay Dag Egbert is the only biological birth of the main cast I believe okay If you're, during your manuscript exchange, need someone to read over your shoulders, say to proofread or to purge each sentence of punctuation and capitalize the first letter of every word, I'd ha be happy to uh, volunteer. Strictly professionally, of course, and not because I really want to read your wizard things, too. I really want to wizard read your wizard things, too. I hope that's okay. Yeah, sure, it's okay. Kanaya, sorry. Me and Rose are babbling away. Here to each other, and we don't mean to exclude you. Dad is John's son, so he's John's half-brother. But Dad Egbert is John's... John's dad is actually his biological half-brother. Boy, howdy, that... <laughs> yep, that sounds right. Can we, um... Can I just make a, a, a real quick recommendation? Uh, your your family tree should not reconnect with itself at any point. Like it, it should be a, a more or less like tree branches going out and away from each other. They should never intertangle and come back together. You shouldn't fuck someone you're related to.
Family tree became a family fucking circle. Family Mobius strip. Hey, Luigi guy. Nobody is fucking anyone they're related to in Homestuck. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, howdy. Fun fact, due to the genetic mo bottleneck, every human is uh, a 50th country with someone else. I think if you're that far enough related from someone, that's okay. Like, if it would take you some time to figure out how the fuck you're related to someone, then it's not really fucked up. But if it's like, yeah, your dad is your half-brother, you, you might have problems. Is it incest or masturbation to have sex with your clone of yourself? It's hot. What? Why the fuck do people keep asking me this? God. Um, it's fine, though I'm thoroughly enjoying uh, my ride as a spectator. I know that Rose has been looking forward to this a lot. And that she received similarly vicarious and politely passive enjoyment from the interactions I had with my ancestor. So then I will resume my politely passive part of it. You don't gotta jump in whenever you feel like it. I love meeting new neutrals. Well, at least when they're not being evil or something. I love them when they're not evil trolls. Like the cranky one over there in the rad ruby shades. Trizzy? Yeah, she's a boss. That's pretty much the way she... A uh, fair way to describe the anyone of the attitude of anyone higher on the higher on than me on the HEMA spectrum. But yes, you're right. Oh yes, lest we forget, dear Fafetta. Fafetta, do you mean Vefri? No, Fafetta. She was a dear precious soul. Hmm. She was my sprite. I guess she never got happens in this version of stuff though. Dang, that's sad. Maybe not quite as sad as existing and then exploding? I'm confused. I wonder what else is different. Well, you died too, right? Well, you died too. I did? Yes, while pushing me out of the way of a fork. So thank you for doing that retroactively and to a different version of you? Jeez, yeah, I had a really simpler happen thing happen in my timeline. Also involving a fork. And even though you're okay now, it's almost sad to talk about. Yeah, we didn't exchange a single word before you're gone. All I could think of was, how can this be happening again? Luckily, the sense of misery was short-lived, though. Uh, it wasn't long before I was informed the incident uh, was part of something bigger taking shape, and that John was on his way with a different version of you. I know I don't deal what a different version actually entailed, but I wasn't about to quibble so i was so relieved same although instead of waiting for you to come back i had to jump through all these hoops with john and then there was some uh, different stuff i uh, may have thrown an impromptu funeral for your all you dead body you did yep sorry if that sounds weird i know i i was coming to meet a new version of you but it helped me with like feelings about people i left behind a funeral wow that Sorry if this comes off a bit odd, but that is so mom of you. Oh, yeah? I like your mom. Me too. John created himself so he's his own dad. He created his biological mom so he gets to be his own grandfather. He's the alternate version. He, universe, he's the grandfather, parent of Jane. His mom, he's also the son of his biological mother, and technically her adopted grandson, making John his own father, son, grandson, and grandfather. Cool. That sentence sucked. Thank you for writing it. Um, I'm making another diagram. I think I think I understand it. I really do. Ignore the adoptive stuff. It seems like people are arguing about the adoptiveness of people. 
I don't mean to be too analytical about getting to know you, really, but I guess comparisons are a little hard for me to avoid since the adult version of you played such a significant role in my life. So I can't help seeing similarities when they're there. But also, you're so clearly your own person shaped by your own experiences that I would is the person I would prefer to get to know rather than a young avatar of, uh, for the memory of a departed parent. Yet, in this context, which seems somewhat inescapable, inescapably colors of my perception of what you reveal. So while, <coughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That one, that one went places. That one had recoil. Uh, this is the context of someone inescapable colors. My perception, what you reveal while some observations are in vain of predictable and charming. So mind you others, I regard as surprising. What about me is surprising. Well, you aren't, um, you don't seem like the person who would, uh, I don't want to ask anything that would sound rude to you or spiteful to her because I don't feel that conflicted about this anymore, particularly, uh, because I've had my own troubles with it. So it would be pretty hypocritical. Conflicted about what? Let me back up a bit. It's a long ride on a meteor. One experienced things over a few years, given a lot of time to think, changes and stuff. Halfway through, I started thinking more about mom, about you, knowing that I'd probably meet you. I don't know, live up to the experience? It's silly, but I'm guessing you understand what I mean. Basically, I was nervous. I was all mixed up with feelings of con of conflict and remorse over my mother who to my hazy preteen recollection never wasted a day in my life on sobriety and she had a habit of putting all those days to quite effective use actually i don't even remember the thought process that led us to this sort of just ran with it the habit i mean for a while at least i was still distraught about losing her and i wanted to understand her to reconnect with her in some way so i guess i that was the only idea i had on some level i think connecting with her was a way for me to prepare myself for meeting you. Even though it probably makes no sense since you literally aren't her. You aren't literally her. You don't share her, all her... I guess I shouldn't speak for you, though. What you're saying, though, is you're surprised that I'm unlike her in the way that... In that way, because I don't seem like someone who'd get drunk off their ass all the time. Um, Well, I guess I should be flattered if you think that, but wrong. So you... My story is kind of like yours. I had a mom I never knew. I wanted to feel close to her however I could, but I grew up mostly unsupervised in an old, old house and all the old stuff in it, plus some old booze squirreled away here and there. And I just started it up even though I was way too young for that shit. And whoops, it's like it was a light, a bit light on the discipline around then. And, uh, not like a bunch of silly pumpkin eaters were going to stop me. Pumpkin eaters, chess guys, loads of them. But yeah. I wanted to be like her and do what she did, but mostly made a, uh, you should read the Skynet files, by the way. It's weird shit. Um, I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about maybe, um, doing, um, my immortal as a charity thing. And, um, Not the Skynet stuff. We, we, let's finish this. First. I mean, like, My Immortal's pretty short, right? Someone actually give me a word count on that shit. Like, page count. Uh, My Immortal is where Harry Potter's all look like goth kids who say fuck yes. Skynet files aren't definitive canon. They're the old author's notes and backstory drafts. Do not read it, my immortal. Your dyslexia is so bad that it, trying to read it, it's incoherent typos would kill you. Um, One thousand dollars per word. You you have so little faith. In how generous people you are. My Immortal has a 22,700 word count. Alright, I'm going to write that down.
Thank you. Uh, I will read. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm. I need two hundred dollars a minute of Airbud, and I have to watch like significant amounts of Airbud. I will, I will do it. I swear to fuck, I will. I just haven't had time. Um, I thought that that's what she wanted. And all the time, it seemed like a cool, real thing, intellectual, and a mysterious book celebrity would do, all while le leading a badass and secretly subserve subversive life in opposition to tyranny. But like. I think what is more likely is she knew that the whole world would end and everyone would die no matter what she did, which is probably hard to live with. And I don't know why, if I could blame an old lady who wants uh, to get a wee bit sauce after a couple of rapping clowns won the presidential election. Yeah, I wait, what? Clowns? Long story, bad story. Please continue. Okay. Uh, yes, my mother sure was the end. Uh, knew the end was coming too, knowing that helped me put a lot of her behavior in context for me. I was always too young to understand. Poor moms, poor, poor adult, dead, sexy ladies, us. Truth. But anyways, back to us. Kid alive, sexy lady, us. Yes. Sounds like Rose, your Rose had an incredible career, but all things considered, I prefer being a kid alive, sexy lady me. Agreed. I know what you mean about being nervous about meeting you that... I mean, maybe nervous isn't quite right. I started thinking about meeting you when I started thinking I should try being not quite such a mess. So I started getting the idea of cleaning up my act more seriously. Ultimately, I concluded the very same thing. I decided I wouldn't be a very dignified way to make an entrance. Or for that matter, very constructive way to help out a struggle to preserve reality. Luckily, I was able to cut it out while a while ago. I admit it wasn't easy. But it helped me, it helped have a lot of people around looking out for me. Poke. Sits poked. Yeah, that's very, like, 2000s writing. Holy shit. Do you have a link to the PPM document? I don't. Um, I, I don't, I'm not going to read the Super Smash Brothers fic. It's as long as this. It's longer than this, right? Like, I, I was a fucking no. Rip to My Little Pony Fallout. Or whatever the fuck. <laughs> you guys have seen the Friday Night Funking, but it's, um... It's, I want to call him Rigby. That's not the name of the guy. Um, but it's, it's that guy and then Twilight Sparkles. And they're singing... Mordecai and Twilight Sparkle um, singing that one song. Can we pl pretend that airplanes in the night sky are shooting stars? That was like the only song that played when I went to clubs for the short amount of time that I went to the clubs. Fuck that meme. What's wrong with that meme? Why did I get so defensive about that? Is that like a ship? Are people shipping them? Fucking why? No, if I've got any like um, ships I really like, I like um, what's her name and um, ba 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 um. Uh, Connecticut Clark. That was good. That's good. Malfina and Connecticut Clark. Connecticut Clark. Yes. Well, will you make me the fourth happiest man in Connecticut? Love that line. Third. Excuse me. Third. I, I love that line. It's like, who are the happiest to? <laughs> it's such a, it's such a diss. Sonic X Luciana. 
I don't know who lists in a from wait like from um Fire Emblem w fucking why I do not want the Connecticut water they're they're both blue that's um that's what it takes. Grunkle stands X Eda Clawthorn. Isn't that like confirmed? Anyway, uh Some people are, um, it's interesting to observe the various ways that apply themselves to your benefit. Some people are around to make you feel like you're worth sticking with, even when you fuck up. And people are around that stick your, uh, kick your ass to make sure you don't. I think I'll play the latter role to my friends a lot. Uh, so to myself, I guess, who kicked your ass? Who was the yelly guy over there? Uh, no, Carcat was mostly preoccupied with his own shenanigans. The yelling is deceptive. He's rather a private person. Riska, however, she's really quite an extravagant bitch. Yeah, I agree. But it turns out that people like that tend to have some convenient assets. Such... Her, such as the sheer force of personality that keeps a bunch of idiots from falling apart. Don't get me wrong, it's quite annoying, but useful. Yeah. I mean, I probably should have been more of a bitch to all, uh, to all my peeps. Maybe we wouldn't have gotten all to jail and died. Let the be a lesson to us all. Seriously, though. It's so nice hearing your stories, especially the similarities in the stuff we experience. Wizards and writing and mom stuff and even the bad things that we went through. And obviously, we're similar by DNA and all, but even so, it feels comforting. To... Liking wizards is a genetic trait. You're just made that way. You just like wizards. Uh, and obviously, similar to DNA. But even so, it's still feeling it still feels comforting. That even if you flip the universe upside down and change it all around, pull us apart by centuries, kill off humans, flood the world, we're still connected to each other in a mysterious way that goes beyond genes and circumstances. And I think that some freaking tight, uh, tight freaking noise to consider. I'm considering it right now, and yes, that noise is so tight. Hey, what are we talking about over here? Damn it, Dave. Okay, that one was shorter, but all these seem like they're like an hour long because I keep rambling about other shit. <sighs> Two down. I'm going to read like one more. I'm going to go see my wife. Tougher Spite, is it okay if we pretend to have a conversation over here for a while? So that I look busy and not come off as a big doofus as I feel? I can oblige and also personally identify with that idea and the feelings of self-lameness behind it. But I could also help you with a real convo too, instead of a fake one. In fact, maybe we are even uh, sad said enough words together just now for it to qualify. Oh, Tavro Spite, you always have been the ray of sunlight shining in the through the clouds of what could all otherwise been an emotionally stormy game experience for me i'm so grateful that i found it in your ghostly bosom to drift over the lomax now then to drift over to lomax every now and then and cheer me up often enough to give me a real pick-me-up when i was feeling blue uh over friend problems but just seldom seldom enough to feel like a rare delight when you did. Yeah, it was under strict instruction from Vriska to not interfere with the timeline much for lots of months. So I didn't say hello often. She helped me be back alive. So I owed her that much on one hand. But on the other, 
She was also doing her bossy thing just for the sake of telling me what to do. I don't see how being friendly sometimes has changed the timeline much, or why even that idea mattered. Because it seems like most of you all here never did much important stuff anyway. Ah, that's true. More tip-top wisdom from that sage bullhead noggin of yours. Why do you want to pretend... Uh, why do you want to pretend talking, even though it's real, and look busy to your friends? I'm just not up with all the socialization yet. Maybe never will be. Feeling at ease to talk to you about all these others. I don't know. It always feels really awkward, and I feel like I lost most of my prior bravado due to some bad things that happened with my friends. What happened? With them. I just messed up with everyone in a lot of ways, and I'm too embarrassed to talk about. Now I'm just gushing about everything, I guess. Even polite conversation with new fun people. I should be thrilled to meet. I want to even set a few things to do right with my buddies. Now, if I wanted, Jane is asleep so I can make amends with her after she became an angry robot and punched me in the gut and jailed me and threatened me with eternal marriage and baby-making duties. I mean, sure, she was brainwashed when she did all that, but I'm sure she did some stuff to deserve it. I did some stuff to deserve it. And Dirk is still way off somewhere, so I can't address that whole spicy meat bell, which I feel terrible about, and Roxy... Oh. Okay, Roxy is right there, but look at her. She's having a blast with all these people. And she's actually really likes, who are probably actually likable. She probably wants nothing to do with me either, so I might as well just do her the courtesy of leaving her alone. But isn't she waving at you and saying hello right now, due to almost certainly to overhear you talking about her name? Hi, Jake. Oh, yeah, th it would seem like she is. Those are probably pity waves, though. I don't think that's true. I've never been the getter almost exclusively of pity versions of various deeds directed. I have been the getter of almost exclusively of pity versions of various deeds directed at me. And I think that's not what she's doing. Those are normal waves and hellos. You should probably do one of those things back to her. Hi, Jake. 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 Damn it. Hi. Oh, um, hi, Roxy. You're with your, us again here. And I like that. Nice, bro. Keep working on those behaviors of that sort, and uh, your self-esteem will get bigger. I like that. Thunderations, what a fucking clod I am. <laughs> I'm not ignoring... Am I ignoring you guys? Am I doing something wrong? I'm trying to read all of the words. I'm trying to, like, get the PPMs up. Were you guys saying things that you shouldn't? The rants are fun. They are fun. That's the point. If you're doing something right. So I shouldn't be reading what you guys are saying. Word stonks are good. Stonks are up. PPM, up. Good vibes, up. You should ignore us. Words up, man. Okay. I like that thunderations. What a clod I am. I need to keep a lower profile, and even basic pleasantries are a bit above my huckleberry for now. I get it. The self-esteem is probably the hardest emotion to master. It helps uh, to ha have help. We were praising you for ignoring us. I see. Get that PP up. PPM up. There you are. I appreciate it, Mr. Tavros Spite. I really do. No, no, not from me. Do you have any phantom, uh, fantasy phantom representing your self-esteem who you can look up to? A phantom? Because I did once, and it really helped me. And then he became real and really helped me. But not because of believing or anything, just because of coincidence. He happened to be my ancestor. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, I suppose I have something like that. A brain ghost of my friend Dirk who visits me sometimes. I guess he represents my self-esteem, but I don't know actually how helpful he is. Sometimes I I think about other people. Uh, what would they say? You know, like if I was like, all right, you know, I don't know. What would they say? And they can be like a, a bit of a, a, I don't know. I wouldn't say moral compass, but just sort of like, would they be like, what the fuck are you doing? And does that help me? Do I care? Sometimes. 
I guess he represents my self-esteem, but I don't know actually how helpful he is. Why? Because all the consternation that my uh, relationship with real Dirk has caused me. He says all the right things to make me feel better about myself, but when he visits my brain, it never actually feel that comfortable or good with myself. I just feel kind of weird and truthfully spend most of my time just hoping that he goes away and probably knows that too because he's my brain and that makes me feel weirder. See, your brain is complicated then. I guess it's because you're somewhat of a genius. Really? Yes, absolutely. I have a sense for these things. Gosh. Maybe instead of listening to upsetting words of a complicated brain ghost, what a brilliant mind like you needs is something simpler, like listening to the nice flattering words from a real friend. Maybe you're right. Not related to that, I have, uh, have I mentioned you are actually quite handsome for a human? You think? Also, you have a dashing personality. You seem pretty strong and have a small pair of creamy looking pants is really cool. Your very small pair of creamy looking pants is very cool. Wow, you're so right, Tavros. These nice observations about me. Why? They really do seem to be helping me feel at least infants in some... A little bit better about myself. There we go. Got it. This is only the beginning of the feel good feelings that I could force inside you. Mm. Forcing feelings inside. I see. Through the repetitive mentionings of such things about you, but also through developing yourself as a brave, alive hero. It is too late for me to do that since I lived a week life died and luckily enough had a friend with a good heart to bring me back she killed you though but only as a spiritual guard for as such such as the one floating before you so i can't be that heroically great anymore by tragic definition but you can you're living strong nice and even have higher importance immortal uh so that gives you my estimation or estimation literally forever to get better and better and better and finally prove to yourself that you can win friends over and if everyone will like you. Boy shitting howdy, just imagine from hobbledy hoy to hero. Wouldn't that be a spiffy predicament? Just razz my berries. Tavros, will you leave this, leave this poor kid alone? What sort of nonsense are you telling him? Nothing? Oh bullshit, you're filling his head with lies, aren't you? No, this is a basic conversation about any topics and you're probably going to say you disapprove of. Hey, kid, what's he telling you? What's your name again? Jape? J yes, sure. No, it's not Jape. Wrong. Who even cares? Your overly simplistic names are all sounds all alike. Anyway, listen, Jape. Whatever load of shit he's telling you, misguided effort to cheer you up, don't listen. It's all a bunch of sappy, delusional garbage. Not gonna... Vriska continues. So, is Vriska forgetting? Because people are like, oh, Bis Vriska's good. Vriska's good. Vrisk is a good person now. That's what I keep hearing people say. And and look at her being a colossal bitch right now. A load of shit he's selling you in a misguided att effort to cheer you up. Don't listen to him. It's just a bunch of sappy, delusional garbage. I'm not going to let you go down easy. Someday you'll realize this is the biggest favor anyone's done for you. You're never going to do anything important and never amount to anything, period. Neither is Tavros. Wait, wait, no, hold on. No, you hold on, Tavros. You had more than enough chances to prove that you could be relevant contributor to our adventure, but you blew it every step of the way. It's time to face the facts. You're never going to have a big moment that vindicates your arc of personal development. It's not going to happen. No, I know that. I just admitted that. You weren't listening to her. And it's not going to happen for JP here either, so stop filling his head with nonsense. I can smell it off him. Just like you, really. A loser is a loser. Here's the bottom line. Pages suck. All of them do. They can't ever seem to get it together. Why, why are you guys saying she's right? This is a bit bitchy. Think you guys sure about this one? Hi, I never have read Homestuck. Keep it that way. Um, there is certainly quite, uh, quite dignity in the understanding of your uttering crippling limitations as individuals. 
ideally a very quiet dignity so important people can hear it themselves and think or hear themselves think but what about all that big page potential it's a misleading horse shit really kind of cruel stipulation to the class to be honest it makes losers think they can actually be there's some actual light at the end of their long tunnel so it keeps them dreaming instead of facing facts sure they could reach all that potential they worked really hard for a long time but you don't get it but don't you get it the very nature of someone uh of who they are prohibits that they don't have what it takes to make it to the end because they're too weak mentally there's playing a, a nasty joke on them like dangling a carrot at the end of a ridiculously long stick. Only an ac asshole would knowingly play along with such a vicious hoax. No more... Oh, no. Any form of friendship encouragement, no matter what it is, is universally great, I think. We all learn that it's fact from a lot of things we see and enjoy stories and stuff. Oh, my fucking God. No, no, Tavish. She's right. She's right. Riska, look at what you did. You made my friend Jape sad. And don't listen to her. Come here, buddy, for reassuring embrace. Tavros, don't you fucking touch him. Remember, you've only been prototyped once. Do you really want to fuse eternal monstrosity with that weenie? God, what a weenie singularity that would be. Maybe I should just stand back and let it happen for science. And serves you right. Oh, yeah? Well, get a load of this. Actually, no, you're, you're right, of course. I won't hug him because that actually sounds really bad. Sorry, Jape. Oh, hey, Mike. I'm reading Homestuck. How are you doing? How is your stream? Get a load of piss! <sighs> what uh? What was uh? Mike streaming? Hey, Mike people. Jade Inferno, or Jane Inferno, thank you for the two years of support. Holy shit. Blasphemous. I forgot about that game. Holy shit. That's an oldie but a goodie, yeah? It's like, um, Bloodborne but side-scrolling, right? Pope Simulator. I'm thinking of something else then. Told them about the family tree. It's more of a family Christmas wreath. Kind of goes in a circle and... Where one branch starts and the other branch ends is kind of hard to pull apart. It's an oldie. It's only two years old. Well. Yeah. Um, I was actually going to stop. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, cause I got a stream tomorrow. I got a stream at four, uh, my time, 4 PM. If you guys haven't seen this, I'm going to link it right now. Um, to you guys, bam, right there. That's the schedule for the next two days. If it is not my name on it, if it is not a multiplayer block, I will not be streaming the next couple of days. So check that. If you want to see me stream, I'm going to be streaming there. I'll be streaming through that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think multiplayer is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Alpha Rad, Ross, Vinny, Sheezy's multiplayer block. Gwen Stefani, Pee Wee Herman, Monster Trucks. Okay, the last couple of things, not so much, but like that. Those are things that are happening. Art time? Yeah, I'm looking at the art and I don't see anything new. Uh, so no. No, no art. Maybe this year I'll beat Rick Christopher Robin. I'm going to be doing the uh, Japanese version uh, because uh, that is apparently harder. Hold on, I just posted a new diagram. Onto the Boru? Uh, did you tag me? Let 
the Japanese version is no harder than the English version. The only thing that's harder is you can't read. It's three hours of poo ball. Listen. Last week or so, I've been having nightmares about having to do poo ball for two hours. Yesterday. No, the Japanese version does have the upgrades. They're in the same spot. They're, you just can't read them. It's exactly the same game. It's just in Japanese. Can we do something else? We'll probably do some coloring pages and she is. But I'll, I'll worry about that tomorrow. Uh, but uh, let's check the uh, the Boru and see if the art is up. Uh, maybe if I just search the Bind Boru itself. I don't see anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's been uploaded. Did you post it on Twitter maybe? Uh, I was supposed to the borrow, so I don't have permission to do that. Uh, Wattpad stories, find sauce, fanfics. Okay, I don't. I don't want to read fanfics about myself and or my friends so thank you for linking that um ah here we go shaddy made a thing for us to look at and he gave me permission to show it so i will uh give me a second and i will pull it up on screen Okay, so this. In Act 4, John creates everyone. The Alphas, which are Dirk and Roxy, and then the Betas, who are Dave and Rose. So Dirk is a clone of himself, and Roxy is a clone of herself. And Jake is a clone of himself. And Jane is a clone of herself. But then these two get their, their bang on to make the betas. And so on. Universe 1B, the first half. So Bro Dirk is this Dirk. And each of these guys take care of these guys. Best character? I think not. Um... But universe, uh, I think that the mayor is the best character, but you know, uh, universe to be after everything after cascade pop up, John, who's not Nana, John or Jane, but Nana Jane is that's Jane. And John is John dad, a different one. Grandma Jade, who is this one. And then each of these guys take care of these guys. Yeah, this story uh, makes no fucking sense. Um, I just don't. Is there a point in saving? <laughs> I mean, if we count pages that I went from to and to, I actually did not get any farther. But I did read three page, like three sections. I remember, um, so we had to do like reading stuff in elementary school, right? And, uh, they had us log, we had reading time and they had us log the amount of time that we were reading books. So it was like, uh, at the end of the reading session, the teacher would be like, uh, what page did you get to? And it's something that I did that I think confused my teachers for a bit was uh i was reading choose your own adventures so some days i would read what appeared to be from page like 10 to 50 and other days i would read from page 50 to page 7 and it got really confusing for them for a bit it was very funny yo making fajitas for dinner tonight hell yeah Woo! I'm going to go see my beautiful wife and then uh, tell her I love her. 
and eat fajitas that she's making. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go. Uh, there are fajitas in the other room. I hope you guys understand. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the charity. Four, my time. Normally I stream at five, so adjust your clocks. I'll see you guys there.